Welcome back to Let's Play AWE, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh... You know, I gotta say, I feel like the Bureau's recreation of, uh, Bright Falls may be just a bit too accurate. <laughs> uh, I am, of course, just messing around with the wrong game intro, but I did notice that I thought this was funny. It's one of those, uh, thermos collectibles right over there in the tutorial. Neat. But, uh... For this story to really be over... Jesse Faden has to overcome the third thing. So let's head back to 2019... 2099? <laughs> yeah, like it's, uh, the, the, the edgy Spider-Man they made up in the 90s. Sure, let's get back to 2019, rather save the world one more time. Okay, that's better. Back in the Bureau. Ready to end this. Well, that's pretty. I don't know why it looks like that. This is... Hmm. Ah, what the hell. I don't trust you. What? Oh! Gnarly. I was wondering I if we'd go back here. Again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Thomas Zane, or... Mr. Whatever S is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. Or Mr. Scratch impersonating Thomas... Uh, Thomas Wayne, or, uh, you know, Tom Zane. Didn't think that would do anything, I just needed to do it. Montana! See you, America, United States Travel Bureau. Oh, something's going on over here. It sounds like darkness to me. For some reason, this poster reminds me of a book I read once, or someone falls into an alternate universe where that uh, state's name is pronounced Tejas. It's always this one. Oh, hey, how's it going? an infinite void out there. Or, you know, they have frosted windows. One or the other. I thought it was interesting, even just there in that the brief little joke intro, I was playing uh, Alan Wake Remastered, not the original, for the record. Yes, I maybe have uh, decided to go ahead with that, but, um... I thought it was interesting that uh, the controls on, you know, moving... Alan around didn't feel as smooth as they do for Jesse. Like, I just tap down and she turns all the way around, you know. I tap down and Alan turns to about there and then stops. I suppose that makes sense, it being a game from 2010. 
I thought I heard that what the game actually is, despite their subtitle remastered, is they remade the game from the ground up from in the uh, the Northlight engine. But I don't know. I mean, that was only a few minutes, but um, felt about right for a game from uh, 2010. I suppose we'd have to get more extensive experience to see. Ooh, boy. Uh, sorry, Mr. Blob of Darkness. Checkout time! Thank you for staying at the Ocean View Motel and Casino. We hope you've had enjoyed your visit. Have a nice day. Oh. I was honestly expecting something to grab me in here, because I thought, you know, rule of three and all that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was weird. Ah, there it is! Wow. They actually modeled the part where it plugs into the, uh... into the projector. That's very funny to me. The platform, I mean. Let's just annoy the parking lot. All right, fine. The power of light compels you. as far as, uh... No, no, just three. It's, it's a cycle. So I'm on this side. Sure, 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 sure. I can't just hit up and skip to the bottom. Wake right to beginning. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, hmm. streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her. Went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. So the darkness couldn't Wake mess it up. The pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His... Escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. We created a Dada's poem. No! He try anything once. Or had he tried this before? You invented the hiss? Jesus Christ, I'm starting to wonder if... Alan's let himself get turned... Let himself get turned into a puppet for the dark, and it's just leaving him alive because it thinks it's funny that he's playing to its tune now. He created the hiss? 
I mean, that is a pretty good explanation of where the insane chanting of the incantation would come from, but oh my god! I mean, I had been gonna talk about how the fact, you know, I didn't really think about it at the time, but that last mold quest, once I wrapped that up, that, pr that should be it. We should have, uh, you know, the mold finally contained so it doesn't threaten the Bureau or the Earth ever again. Knock on wood. Ah, yes, one of these. Sorry about that, where, where was I? Yes, that's right, I was saying that I was going to talk about the mold, but hey, apparently Alan Wake invented the hiss, so, uh... What the hell do I know? Uh... Shout out to Yornick, who left a comment that says, When the Dark Presence awakens, the first thing it shall devour is some coffee. And contrary to popular belief, it actually prefers light roast. <laughs> uh. Huh. It's just gone. Weird! That's very... Oh boy, it's happening. Another replica. Like the one they made for Ordinary. I wonder what happened here. You know, just last night, my friend Ronan Drake made the observation that, uh, Jesse be Jesse's life became what it is on the day that Ordinary was destroyed. Which is appropriate, because there has been no Ordinary in her life ever since then. Boy, this is really the only spot of light in this entire fucking room, huh? I need to get that over there. Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus, oh god. What's up, monster? I swear that guy gets bigger every damn time I see him. There's lore all over the fucking place. I guess of course there would be. Uh, should I get this, or should I, like, focus on the monster? Uh, fuck it. Bright Falls 1976 summary. AWE 10, event date, no, uh, sorry, September 17th, 1976, event location, Bright Falls, Washington. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation <clears throat> occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields, for the annual festival known as Deer Fest. That's right, they mentioned that in the game. Uh, eyewitnesses all claimed that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports, but then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson Farm, and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. I think it's technically called a water spout if it moves over a lake, but whatever. Uh, the torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night. Testimony from Redacted. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau agent. Frank Breaker. He must have been, uh, Sarah Breaker's father. Uh, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau... Formerly a bureau agent? See employee file Redacted. Managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood. The festival was cancelled, ending one day early. Lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE. Though the similarity to other no, no uh, uh, the similarity to other known events in the Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of the townspeople. Monster. Well, there's some lore back up there, but you know. If you think they're gonna be able to keep me out of this room, you are sadly mistaken. Dr. Emil Park. I am 
You know what? Okay. Okay. Okay, for starters, achievement unlocked. In-depth investigations. Find 80% of the collectibles in the investigation sector. Not bad. Ah, yes, that's right. Like, what am I looking for? Huh. Dr. Hartman's notes, next steps. These are the notes of Dr. Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. No. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. Though I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. But Wake was stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. Disappointing nonetheless. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared into Cauldron Lake. And this is where my work turns. Hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm with the chance to return as they have. All that remains is the dive itself. Oh boy. It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It is time for a breakthrough. Until I return. All right, I need to find a thing. Just give me a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Just wanted to look up a thing. Shout out to 1234 Andrew Jack Smith, who reminded me of something Alan said in uh, the hotline message about uh, what happened to Hartman. Uh, yeah, after he dived into the lake, uh, there was just an echo of him left, a fragment with uh, ravenous darkness in the driver's seat. And, uh, yeah, next steps or not, I, yeah, he did not come back from that. It actually, you know, honestly, the comment helped me, because it helped, really helped me f realize that, oh, the Taken aren't tortured people that I'm putting out of their misery. They're, you know, they really do die when they get taken, just like the Hiss. And, you know what? Given the alternative, that's comforting. Okay, I can't see shit back there. Oh, it's the uh, the light over the button. All right. I mean, there's a cube. What? Where is one right in front of me? There it is. Oh no, it's a slot. Okay, where did the cube go? Oh, you're not that cube. Uh oh, it's right in front of me. Jeez. Oh, I see. I was looking at this set of panels. As opposed to the one with the switch on it. Fuck me, I'm almost dead. Yeah. 
you know, Jesse may have all kinds of amazing superpowers, but I actually find myself wishing I had something Alan did. He regenerates health while standing in light. Not a very solid looking shield, but okay. That's not the correct button. Well, there's that. Oh, hey, big guy. forming a path for me. Actually, now that I say that, I don't see another cube here. No, no. Oh, timing was off with the dodge there. Shit! And the timer. So what we're really doing here is putting Hartman out of several miseries here. But yeah, the real mercy is that I don't think he'll remember any of this. Oh, thought it was going to be audio thing. <laughs> uh, interview number 65-F-124, we'll end it on this. Subject Alice, Alice Wake, Derek, compiled by Derek Shaw and Carolyn Dempsey, special agents by order of William Kirkland, head of investigations. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on Redacted 2017. See file Redacted for the full transcript. Of course it's Redacted. The interview can... wait, this is just about the interview? Okay. The interview conducted by agents Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Mrs. Wake has had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband oh, in, uh, in her New York apartment. Address redacted. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According, according to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting that he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of fear out of the fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the dark. Uh, further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply request form L-501-4 have been sent to Mr. Kirkland and administration for approval. And I guess we'll look at whatever those are. Oh, not that, though. I don't want reinforcements in here against the fucking final boss. Yes, yeah, so we'll look at whatever that other one is, though, uh, in the next episode of Let's Play AWE, when we uh, finish things with Hartman once and for all. It's a DLC chapter for Control, don't you know? <laughs> I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you then. Wish me luck, guys, and stay in the light.